Someone's buying the rug. I love this rug, but uh, I think for the new apartment, I just want to get one that's, well, yeah, first of all, it's too big for the new space, but also I want to get a color that's just like all this color, you know, like a beige kind of color. So someone's picking it up in about two hours and we love that. My dad is acting like it's so cold and it's not that cold. It's freezing. It's not that cold. It's freezing in here. And uh, you know, who does the work? Who does all the work? Not me. In this world. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Floor to ceiling windows, folks. Floor to ceiling windows. I am so happy to be out of that other apartment. <laughs> so happy to be free from chaos. Uh, we're not technically out of that apartment yet because um, the movers are coming tomorrow, but I'm just happy to <laughs> have another place to stay. But let me show you guys my room. Ah! Wow. And then this is one of my favorite parts. We have this like sliding door instead of a regular door. You know, conserve some space. Love the mirrors in here. I think this will be the first time in my YouTube career where I will have good lighting in my bathroom. <laughs> so that'd be very cool for like skincare and you know, beauty videos and whatnot. <laughs> By the way, the sun came out. <laughs> um, I don't know where I put my camera. It's it's on that truck somewhere. Don't know which box it's in. So we have the iPhone today. <laughs> from Farfetch that I'm going to unbox right now. Actually, let me bring you into another room because the lighting here is not great. <laughs> so I did order a couple things for Black Friday. You guys know I am a fashion girl. <laughs> I do love my designers and I've been a huge fan of a designer, uh, an Australian designer named Dion Lee. I, oh wow, the quality. So I got this very nice black corset as you can see. And the reason why I wanted to get this specifically is because I don't have, I have a lot of t-shirts. I don't have a lot of tops that aren't like cotton t-shirts. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm like wanting to wear a blazer or wanting to wear like a jacket or something, the only options that I have really are like cotton tank tops or t-shirts. And I was like, Something's not right about that. I'm not maximizing my wardrobe as much as I can. So I decided to get um, something like this because you could wear this casually or you could wear this formally because you know, it's just like a black corset. And then I'm really excited about this one. It's like a tank top and then there's like a knit shawl that goes on top like this so that there's like a little cutout right here. Okay, I just wanted to show you what this corset looks on. Oh, I just freaking love it. Dion Lee is such a good women's wear designer. And I don't know, it just looks, it looks so good. I've tried other corsets um, from other brands um, and they just didn't fit as well. They weren't as well constructed. So I was like, you know what? Let me just invest in just a really nice one. And ah, 
This is why I really like um, designer fashion sometimes, is because the designers really um, appreciate like the art and construction of design and fashion. They just like put a lot of like thought into it, a lot of heart into it, and as a result, you get a very nice product. And I love how it goes up. It's like kind of like curved in the back. And then at the front, it kind of like points down. It's giving like Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, like Elizabeth Swan. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show you what this looked like. Ah, it's so cool! Look, it's so cool! Oh, he is just so good at women's wear. Wow, excellent. up my computer stuff I made these labels for all of the cables and stuff so that I know when I unpack and I set everything back up I know where everything goes because you know cables are not labeled so sometimes you don't know where they go so I labeled one monitor monitor lights this cable went from the monitor to the USB dock it just takes out the extra brain power needed to figure out what goes where, you know what I'm saying? So, just a little tip for you guys. Good morning, everyone. Um, we didn't bring any dishware, <laughs> so I am using a uh, Pyrex for my cereal today. <laughs> All right, y'all, uh, let me show y'all what's going on here at Casa de Jackson. My closet is filled with clothes. I do need to do an another declutter. So that will be in another video. This is not the current setup, but I just needed everything to be in my closet. <laughs> um, I would like to get some organizers for the drawers so that all my skincare can go in there. And my bed frame's not here yet. These are some more clothes that I have to go through. Um, loving my setup for my office. The only thing is that I need to spend another day to um, work on wire management. This is my least favorite project to do, but it has to be done because I hate the way that it looks. Our internet got installed yesterday, so we love that. I have high-speed internet, one gig upload and download. We love to see it, so everything is super fast. And then gonna take you through the rest of the apartment. So this is like the dining area. We did bring my beautiful dining table. It fits perfectly in this space. It's not too big. Uh, for those of you guys that are new here, I bought this during the pandemic. This was like my first big girl purchase. <laughs> and it's a vintage uh, Italian brass dining table from the 80s. It's one of my prized possessions. I did not want to get rid of it, so I'm really glad that it fits in this space. <laughs> and then um, I have my artwork here that I brought from my old apartment. I think I'm going to put two of them over here. We're going to get rid of that bookcase and put a console table and then put the artwork on top of it because whoosh, I've got my selfie mirror right here and uh, this is going to be in the background, so I need to make sure that the background is looking nice. <laughs> uh, we have a coat closet finally. Didn't have a coat closet in my other apartment. That was kind of trash. We have the living room here. Again, everything fits perfectly. I got rid of my coffee table, the one that like pulled up and open because it was just too large for this space. Um, so I got this side table a few months ago. It's another vintage piece. It's travertine with glass with a glass top. Um, and I figured it actually works really well as a coffee table. So I just have that here. We brought over the couch, works perfectly in this space. My Monstera plant, she is thriving. She is here. She's loving the, all the light, you know what I'm saying? And then we've got the kitchen. Uh, in the last apartment, I didn't even have a pantry. 
Like I didn't have this. So everything had to go in like one of these drawers. It was just, it was, it was not good. It was bad y'all. <laughs> so uh, yeah, as you can see, we are still very much moving in, but I'm really loving the space. It feels very homey. And I mean the view, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Okay, so um, I have a really cool announcement. If you don't, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you probably haven't heard it. <laughs> but oh my god, I'm so excited! I have collaborated with Asian female-owned Los Angeles-based streetwear brand called Uprisers. I collaborated with them uh, back in 2019, and we just collaborated again for an exclusive collection at. Paxson. I'm super excited. Everything as of today, um, by the time this video goes live, it will already be online and in some stores, in some Paxson stores. But I just wanted to share some of uh, the pieces from the collection with you guys. Um, it's called No History, No Self. Uh, it's kind of like collegiate inspired, like vintage collegiate inspired. And if you guys notice a couple of videos that I've been uploading these past couple of months, um, they've been really like educational videos about different topics in American history. And I wanted to focus on, you know, his like historical events that were not often taught in school because I believe that knowing one's history gives you a better sense of self. As a uh, black and Asian person who is also indigenous, um, I just have found that learning about my culture and my history through spoken word from my parents, my grandparents, my great grandparents, like hearing stories of the people who came before me gave me a really uh, like a better sense of who I am and how I exist in the world. And so I kind of wanted to create um, a collection, like a clothing collection based around that concept. Cause I didn't want to just create clothing. I wanted to create clothing with a purpose. So uh, this is, these are some of the pieces from the collection. I'm super excited. So this is definitely one of my favorite pieces from the collection. It is the logo polo top. Um, this is in men's sizing, so if you normally shop women's clothing, just keep that in mind. You might want to size down, but I have a, a size small and it fits a little bit oversized. It fits really loose, which I prefer. Um, and what's cool is that we have the Uprisers University logo right here. It says Asia Jackson times Uprisers. And, you know, we kind of created Uprisers University because like no history, no self, you know, we wanted to do an educational series. So I thought it would be really cute to do like a collegiate, like university theme. And also if you guys have following, been following me for a while, you know that I just love like varsity collegiate academic aesthetics. <laughs> like I've been obsessed with it even like since I was little. So I created my own collection based on that. And one of my favorite parts of this polo is that is the embroidery right here. It says no history, no self right here on the collar. So you could either wear this by itself or you could wear a sweater on top of it and then pop the collar out so that you see the collar and the no history, no self. You know what I'm saying? So that is one of the pieces in the collection. Another piece that we have is this brown contrast tee. I chose brown because I'm brown. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, not really. <laughs> I, I really wanted to choose very like neutral colors. These This color palette is kind of inspired by the 70s because 70s is my favorite fashion decade. But I also wanted to choose really neutral colors because I wanted it to fit in your guys' wardrobe. I didn't want to choose colors that were too bold because I wanted these pieces to fit with whatever you guys already have in your closet. So um, I chose colors that uh, would fit better in like everyone's wardrobe. So we have this brown contrast tee. I designed this graphic myself. It says no history, no self. And as you can see right here, um, the no in no is kind of like a different color because it's like no, no history, no self, but also no history, no self. Get it? Okay, okay. Right here on the sleeves, it has like a contrast trim. Collegiate athletic vibes. And then we've also got the long sleeve. 
t-shirt. I found that this is really popular amongst men. What I've been tagged on on Instagram is like, men love this long sleeve t-shirt. So if you're looking for <laughs> a gift for a man in your life, consider this, because they, they love this t-shirt for some reason, but I love it too. It is long sleeve and the material is pretty thick. It has like a really nice cotton material. And I wanted to do a long sleeve as part of this collection because I knew that this was launching in like the fall spring time of the year. So I wanted to keep you guys really warm and cozy. There are a lot more pieces part of this collection. Uh, they're just in the hamper because I've been wearing them <laughs> all week. So um, I'm going to put some photos of like the rest of the collection here. But if you guys are interested, you can visit paxson.com slash uprisers. It will also be in select stores. They're starting to trickle in. I'm not sure the specific date that they're going to be in stores, but I would just like check online or like call your local Paxson store if you're interested in checking them in store. But everything is available at paxson.com slash uprisers. So I'm super excited about this collaboration. Um, I talk about this all the time with uh, Michelle Hanabusa, who is the founder of Uprisers. And I've talked about it a little bit on my Instagram, but anyone who works in this industry knows that opportunities like these don't come by very often to women in general, let alone women of color. So I am so proud of the work that we've done. I'm really grateful to PacSun and I'm really grateful to you guys uh, for all of your support throughout these <laughs> throughout all these years that I've been on YouTube and I've been creating content. So if you guys really resonate with the message of this collection or if you just like the aesthetics or whatever, uh, you guys can go check out PacSun.com slash uprisers. Yay! Woohoo! All right, I need to get back to work, unfortunately. Let's roll. <laughs> Going to dinner with uh, my mom, brother, and his fiance today. Here's my outfit of the day. to get massages today because that move did a number on our bodies so we will be getting massages today it is currently 8 30 in the morning and i figured it would be better to get a massage in the morning so that the masseuses have more energy <laughs> than later in the day you know what i'm saying so oh let me show you my outfit actually this is a um, set from a Korean brand called Nerdy. It's giving, you know, Kill Bill, uh, The Bride, Bruce Lee, you know what I mean? It's just, it's giving. She is that girl. Portfolio. Oh, I've heard of that place. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Well, if this car would move up, then I could probably fit in here. Thanks. Don't mind the mess, folks, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what I got at Target. Uh, even though I knew exactly what I wanted, I went down every aisle. 
because that's just what I do. Do y'all do that? Or are you normal? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but I got some uh, hand soap. This is by Grove Company. I love this company. This is just like a refillable soap thing because I also got a soap dispenser which is around here somewhere. Um, I got a Nintendo Switch Pro controller because I'm told that this is better for your wrists because sometimes when I use the regular one, my wrists start hurting. So I got that. I got some wipes for intimate parts of your body. This is by the Honey Pot Company. This is a black owned brand that is available at Target. So um, I got that. This is the most important stuff. <laughs> so I got some uh, drawer organizers because I actually have drawers in my bathroom now. These are like angled, so you can lay them flat. This is gonna be really great for my skincare and some of my makeup because I have like serum bottles and I don't wanna lay it like all the way flat. I kinda just wanna like have it here. So that's very exciting. I got a, a wide one and then I got two skinny ones cause I'm not sure which ones would work better for my drawers. And then we got this little organizer thing for under the sink. And then we got a little baby Christmas tree. Look at her, she's so cute. We don't have enough room in this apartment for like a real Christmas tree or like a big one anyway. So I kind of wanted to do something a little bit non-traditional. Look how cute she is. I mean, come on. Hey girl. And then I just got a bunch of storage containers for my bathroom. Oh, and then this is, what I, this is what I was talking about, like a little soap dispenser. Yes. All right, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I will be doing Vlogmas this year. Well, my version of Vlogmas. I'm not going to be uploading every day because I think uploading, vlogging every day and uploading every day is a little intense for me. I wouldn't be able to do it. But my version of Vlogmas that I've been doing like every year since I've been on YouTube is like, more than one vlog a week. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna be doing. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Peace. Wait, peace. Oh my God, I did that wrong, whatever.